Hello, my name is Muhammad Afan Ehsan bin Amir Iksham, which is number 056171 from Ben Samabi. And first and foremost, in the analysis of uh, Islamophobia in the film Eye in the Sky by Gavin Hood, I will firstly, I would like to introduce or summarize the film itself. So the film examines the morality of John Warfare. Um, the film actually depicts the American and British intelligence uh, working together, coordinating um, in the mission to eliminate the leadership of the Kenyan terrorist group known as Al Shabaab, who were responsible for the death of a British undercover agent. So, thanks to the advanced technology used, the mission was successful. But although, although so, um, there were controversy between the two um, group of leaders, the American and British uh, intelligence, where they would think that the people in power are too comfortable in the matter of killing people with just with ease with it, which is i would say uh, with the flick of the a button or with just a phone call so next i would like to talk about the justifications of choosing this particular film so the film although uh, focuses more on the morality of drone warfare or the the essence of the higher power having too much power the film does have the elements of is Islamophobia in it. Muslims or um, the religion of Islam is clearly um, being portrayed as a negative organization or society. In the film, Muslims in particular are portrayed as dangerous people, which um, they are suspect suspected uh, to be suicide bombers or potential terrorists, which is common in the Hollywood industry. And the film being as successful as it is, it may have the power to influence viewers um, into thinking that Muslims are bad people, Islam as a bad religion. So the movie itself might... Um, generalize the idea of Islam and the people uh, of Islam. So regarding the issues of Islamophobia in the film, um, obviously Muslims are regarded or portrayed as bad people, evil people, suicide bombers, terrorists, and the, re the religion of Islam is regarded as bad beliefs, a religion with bad ideas towards its followers and with this with the portrayal of this in the film it would give negative generalizations about Muslims and with um, with the power that it has the movie has the Hollywood industry has it would influence a lot of people particularly in social media where Muslims or the religion of Islam um, may be um, victims to um, hate comments. The film, um, in addition to that, um, Muslim characters in the film plays the role of terrorists, whereas the actors uh, from the United States or in the United Kingdom plays the role of heroes. So this is common um, in the Hollywood industry and may give influence to people thinking that um, Muslims are bad people in real life. So next, with the making of these kind of films, by the production of these kind of films, ultimately, Muslims may face the challenge in stereotypes or stigmas that are attached to their religion. Muslims are, quite frankly, been regarded or referred to as bad people, terrorists, or bombers in social media. Other than that, um, the treatment towards Muslims are somewhat different and unfair compared to others. 
Muslim people are viewed as bad people because they look suspicious to some people because they might think that they are terrorists because of these kind of movies which may perpetuate stereotypes to people. The problem of uh, Islamophobia itself is hard to overcome. Although so, they, there might be some solutions to the problem, one of which would be the restrictions and regulations that can be placed on users and their ability to um, express themselves so freely regarding a certain topic. Social media platforms should impose penalties on their users who spread hate speech and misleading information through their platforms. With this, um, the spread of Islamophobia and other forms of oppression may be stopped. Other than that, since the Hollywood industry has the ability to actually influence a lot of people, especially in this era of modernization, I think it is necessary to actually produce a film or a documentary on Islamophobia or the religion of Islam itself to actually rebuttal uh, these negative portrayals of Muslims and Islam. The censorship and restrictions in films are also, I would think, are important to actually prevent um, future um, Islamophobic remarks. So, in conclusion, I think the problem of um, Islamophobia is still huge in today's society and I believe um, it, it requires more attention, whether it be from the public self or the people in the higher ups. So, I guess that is all for me. Uh, thank you for watching.